A trial our nation is watching. Jury selection begins today in the Derek Chauvin trial. The former Minneapolis police officer charged with killing George Floyd. Chauvin was seen on cell phone video last May kneeling on Floyd's neck while Floyd repeatedly said, I can't breathe. He faces charges of second degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Attorney L. Chris Stewart, who represents the family of Richard Brooks, joins us now live to add some perspective to such a major case right now in our country. Thanks so much for getting up early and joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So right now we don't know exactly which charges Chauvin will be facing. Friday, an appeals court ruled a judge has to reconsider a third degree murder charge. What impact do you think this could have on the trial, the, the outcome or even picking jurors? Uh, we should know something possibly this morning. There's a, a hearing schedule. I uh, just left the Floyd uh, family this weekend. We were in Houston, um, and so we're just waiting to hear what the judge has to say. And the nation is really watching this one, but only one family member from each side is allowed inside. I mean, that has to be heartbreaking all over again. How do you think the families are feeling going into this? Well, with the COVID rules right now, you know, we're just happy that the court is open um, and that they're proceeding. So I think what we'll end up doing is rotating a family member in, uh, you know, to allow for that one seating and, you know, do our best to abide by what the judge says. This has been an open wound in the country since it happened last summer as the nation deals with a racial reckoning, police brutality. What role do you think this trial plays in potentially healing the country? The death of George Floyd was a, a wound, but it also was a beautiful sight seeing so many people of so many different nationalities and races come together um, and acknowledge what happened was horrible. Um, it's been one of the highlights of my life representing uh, the family of George Floyd and, and seeing the beauty of this nation come together and support this family and support Gianna, uh, his daughter. So beyond what's happening inside the courtroom, there's quite a presence outside of it too. More than 2,000 National Guard officers, another 1,000 law enforcement officers. There are expected to be crowds of supporters, possibly protests. I mean, what kind of tension do you expect there to be outside of the courtroom? One, just by the, the showing of security. And how do you think that could change if this trial goes on for a month, maybe even longer? It's going to be a long trial. I mean, the jury selection itself probably will run a month. Um, and I think they're just having, you know, extra security out there uh, just in case of any demonstrations or anything of that nature. Um, but what really matters is what's going to be going on in that courtroom, uh, you know, if justice truly exists. This case is so well known in the country and the world. How difficult do you think it will be finding a truly impartial jury here? Well, I'm sure, you know, most people will have heard of the case before, but, it, you know, with jury selection, it's really about getting someone that just hasn't already made up their mind beforehand, you know, guilty, not guilty, you know, anything of that nature and, and finding people that can say they're not biased and that they're open to hear, you know, the evidence that's presented to them. So you've been inside the courtroom so many times for a trial. Take us inside the courtroom through a prosecutor or a defense attorney's minds. What is going through their minds when picking a jury in a trial like this? You want to find someone that has not made up their mind. That's the biggest thing. You know, everybody already has their own biases or ideas or beliefs, but you truly want someone that you feel like they care about what happened. Um, and that they just don't already have a opinion that won't change before you see them on that jury. All right, Attorney L. Chris Stewart joining us this morning. Thank you so much for getting up early this morning, bringing us your perspective. Our coverage is just beginning and we will all be watching. Jury selection is scheduled to start at 10 a.m. We will bring you minute by minute updates on it all. Just download the 11 Alive app.